Okay guys, um, I just want to let everybody know out there that's thinking about doing um, the Western Union hack or any of them really, the PayPal, um, you're going to be the one that, that loses your money. The, um, the hackers will send you a free MTCN, um, but you won't be able to collect your money until you've given them however they mu have a much they want first. Sometimes they want a thousand dollars. Sometimes they'll just ask you what you've got, but it'll always be a minimum of $200 before they'll do anything. The thing is, you think, brilliant, you've got your MTCN number, I'll go and collect the cash. Well, you can't. You have to fill in a form that asks for the sender's details. Now, they're not going to give you their details, so you're not going to be able to collect it. Now, what they do is you think, oh, brilliant, I've got $1,000 there. But the MTCN number that they send you doesn't actually show you the amount in the transfer. So what they've done is they've done a legit transfer of probably 10 or $20. All right, so they've done it legally, as anybody else can do who uses Western Union. And then you've got your MTCN, which you then get all excited about and you rush off. And then you think, oh... I'm not going to be able to pick it up because they give you a form and it asks for the sender's first name, their surname, their states, their country and most importantly of all their mobile phone number. So please don't be fooled into this. Uh, my partner lost $200 to somebody uh, on Saturday, um, about a week ago, July 2017. Um, and it's just a massive, massive con. The only people that are getting conned are the people looking to do the hacks, all right? So the hackers are scamming the people that are trying to do the scamming, if you understand what I'm saying. Please don't fall for it. You're not going to get their sender details because they can't do the hack. It's not possible. Of course, anyone can generate an MTCN number. I can do it. I could get you an MTCN number right now, but the amount would for be for how much I can afford. They are not going to... <laughs> they just can't do it. So please don't be fooled, people. Educate yourself. Save your money. Keep it where it should be with yourself. Don't give it to anyone else because the minute you do, you won't hear from them. That's it. They're gone. You know, IP address hidden. And even if it isn't, you can't get somebody to reply to you if they don't want to. So... Keep your money safe, people. Just be warned that if it's too good to be true, it's too good to be true.